The Mission Workshop Rig is a phenomenal over-engineered bag with exceptional water resistance and intentional organization. Yet this bag has one flaw that may be a deal breaker for you. Let's get right into it. Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet. My name is Mario Ghost and today we're going to be reviewing the Mission Workshop Rig VX. So before we dive into the review, let's go ahead and get into the specs of this bag. So you've got a padded 15 inch laptop compartment that can fit the MacBook Pro 16 inch and they say it should be able to fit like some 17 inch laptops. You've got a 10 inch tablet pocket in the front right here that does fit the 11 inch iPad Pro. You've got a 22 liter roll top opening capacity. The roll top opening is accessible with or without Velcro. So you can use this hook if you want or you can choose to use this Velcro. You've got a hidden water bottle pocket right here that can be tucked away and then you can just zip it up like that. The Mission Workshop Rake does have these Fidlock buckles that are really nice and make it easy to access the uh, external organization. You've got this two layer waterproof build where you've got like this outside VX layer and then you've also got like this water resistant layer on the inside right here. And then finally, you've also got this ultra durable VX fabric. So let's talk about the details because Mission Workshop did pay attention to the details and it shows. So the zippers have rain hoods to protect from water and stuff getting in. The uh, straps are reinforced with extra stitching. And then also you can, like I said earlier, access the bag with or without the Velcro. That is a big deal. The branding like right here is tasteful. Mission Workshop really made a lot of small design choices with this bag that really shows. So real quick, let's go ahead and talk about this VX material. So it's gonna give you uh, tear resistance, water resistance, abrasion resistance, and it has this like X-Pack or ripstop type of appearance. I'm not sure if it's actually ripstop or X-Pack, but still it is very, very resilient. Now, if only I could be as resilient as this bag. Maybe then I'd stop crying after getting ghosted on Tinder for the millionth time. Yeah. Durable material isn't the only thing that creates a durable bag, right? The other important thing is craftsmanship and Mission Workshop does a great job here. So let's move on to the handle of this bag, right? So it's sturdy, it's utilitarian, it's not pretty, but it's practical and good. I really like it if I'm going to be going short distances in my house or maybe I'm at school and I just need to go somewhere really quickly. Um, that's what this handle is gonna be great for. Again, not pretty, but it's very, very functional. So the straps here are very flexible and very wide as well. So it's not gonna be digging into your shoulders. And then also it has this ventilation or mesh on the back that helps you, helps your, uh, I guess, shoulders or whatever breathe and helps with sweat and stuff like that, right? So, and like I said earlier, you've got this reinforced stitching that kind of goes into the craftsmanship that I was talking about. Um, there's a lot of details here and the straps here are just really good. They're like, for as such a, like a technical and like complex bag as this, the straps are actually really simple, except for these like archive rails, which you can use to attach their like modular accessories and stuff like that. You've also got a sternum strap. Again, another simple utilitarian thing. It works fine. I really don't use sternum straps that much on bags, um, but this one does work if you need it to. Just pretty basic like that. So the back panel is phenomenal with one caveat, and that is that it'll actually bulge up if you fit too much into the bag. And that's really the main issue that I have, and we'll get into that, is that you can really overfill this bag and that will greatly negatively impact your experience. But when it's packed out, you know, as it should be, 
the back panel is really good. So you've got this really nice soft mesh. You've got this channel here that helps your back breathe. It's great. I absolutely love it and it feels good. If you, especially with like the ergonomics and like this bag just feels really close to my body, very tight. I feel like it's an extension of myself almost. The water bottle holder is good enough. Um, I don't really know what Mission Workshop could have done here except other than like create an external water bottle pocket. I don't really know how I feel about this. Um, it, it's, it's good enough. It's only, my water bottle has only fallen out on me like twice. Um, but still for such an expensive bag, you know, that might be too much for you. Um, but it does flop around, uh, when you have your water bottle in here or whatever. So, uh, I, I'm not too much of a fan, but it's still really nice to kind of hide away and then have that slim profile when you're not using your water bottle pocket. So it, it does have its perks, I will say. The external organization is, I think, the best part of this bag for me. It's just super well thought out. So let me show you what I've got here. So this is pretty close to what I normally carry. So here I've got a tripod, like a small um, phone tripod. I've got a mask in here, and this is just the vertical pocket. Um, and it's kind of mesh so you can see through it a bit, and it has a little bit of stretch to it. I've also got a portable charger in here. Just giving you an idea of what you can kind of carry in here. In here, I have some SD cards and an extra camera battery, Apple Pencil. Normally in here, I would keep my uh, phone stand, but I don't have that on me right now. And then in here, I have some extra cords and cables and stuff like that. There's also a key lash loop thing right here that you can use. I personally don't really do that. I keep my keys in my pocket or attached to my uh, belt loop but you can use that if you want. So this pocket right here is a little bit different in that it's going to not have any organization. It's just gonna be a kind of a half open thing. So you can't zip it all the way, which I like because it has this right here, which keeps your stuff from falling out. In here, I've just got a notebook, a pencil pouch, and I've got hand sanitizer if I can get it out, some hand sanitizer. So I really like this pocket, especially because I bullet journal a lot and it's a perfect spot to keep my bullet journal. In. And then you've also got this on the bottom right here. So this is gonna kind of eat into the capacity of the main, eat into the main capacity, my bad. Um, and in here, I just have my laptop charger and my cable for my laptop charger. You can also put like some sunglasses if they're in a hard shell case because you're gonna be setting it down on the ground and stuff like that. Um, but I really like this pocket a lot. And then I don't know if you would call this external organization, but you do have your tablet pocket right here that does fit the iPad Pro 11 inch. So the, uh, like I said, the, this pocket kind of eats into the main capacity, but really if you overstuff any of these external pockets, they will eat into the main capacity as well, which is the main issue with this bag is that the main capacity is not great in that it's just obstructed it obstructs everything so what's on the outside obstructs what's on the inside or vice versa what's on the inside obstructs what's on the outside so if you've watched any of my previous videos or previous bag reviews you know how much i absolutely love good lining in a bag and the lining in this bag is good and bad let me go ahead and explain real quick so it's very good because it is very bright so it's reflective you can kind of see what's on the inside because it has this like light silver gray color type of thing um it's also very durable and you don't really have to worry about anything getting scratched or, or whatever like your anything puncturing your bag um i should say but the main bad thing about this bag is you can pull out the inside lining like this and what that does is effectively, it makes it very hard to take things in and out of your bag. So the fact that you can pull your lining inside out like this, I really wish they sewed it to the bottom or something like that. Um, it's, it really is one of the pitfalls of this bag is just the main capacity can be very hard to use if you don't have specifically sized gear. So as I said earlier, that kind of leads me to the downfall of this bag. And that is, that the main capacity isn't that great, honestly. Um, it works, but it can be frustrating sometimes if you overstuff the, um, the outside pockets because it'll eat the inside capacity. And then you've also got the um, tablet compartment, which will also eat the in inside capacity and all of that stuff. 
Same thing with the um, this bottom accessory pocket. Same thing with the uh, laptop compartment. Everything kind of just obstructs the inside of the bag. And that can make it very frustrating to get things in and out of the main capacity. So that's why I don't keep that much inside the main capacity. I only, like you saw, I only had a textbook and a pouch. Um, and that's very accurate to what I would carry, except I would also have like a, a pair of headphones and a hard shell case. Um, so the main capacity is really something I'd like to see improved on this bag. More on the main capacity, pretty much it's tall and narrow, as you can tell from like the shape of this bag. So you kind of have to stack your gear on top of each other. And then when gravity kind of does its work, it kind of sinks to the bottom, which obstructs this part of the bag. Um, and then it also makes it hard to get your laptop in, in and out. Um, so again, just more issues with the main capacity. And there's also no organization in the main capacity other than like a zipper where you can put like a folder or something. So if you want to store smaller or more delicate items, you are going to have to use pouches and things like that, which really isn't a problem for me. So with that being said, it might sound like I don't like this bag, but that's absolutely not the case. My favorite parts are the external organization. Um, this accessory pocket, I love the fid locks. It makes it super easy to get in and out of. This laptop compartment is phenomenal. Again, as long as you don't have it too packed out. And the straps are super comfortable. It's very close to your body. Like I said earlier, it feels like an extension of myself. I love the uh, tablet, the dedicated tablet compartment and this flap that kind of helps keep rain out and stuff like that. This is a very, very good bag. So when I complain about the main capacity, it's really more for people who are going to be utilizing the main capacity. For me, I carry a lot of small items and the only time I've found an issue with the main capacity is when I was going to school and I had like to carry my textbook and I had to carry my headphones and a book and you know, stuff like that. It just got very unwieldy, very uncomfortable. So I would recommend you only carry specifically sized gear um, that would suit this bag because it just doesn't handle, you know, large, boxy, bulky type of things. So just keep that in mind. I really do like this bag though. One of my favorites actually. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then oh my goodness, you could subscribe. That would be awesome. But in all seriousness, Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And you have a phenomenal day. I'll catch you later. Peace.